Hi everyone, I'm Kristen McLeod, a product manager in the Microsoft People Systems Group. And I'm super excited today to share with you some updates we have on user profile photos in Microsoft 365. So first, user profile photos are important. They're like ambassadors. They represent who we are and they influence how others perceive us. They appear in nearly all applications and they bring life to experiences. They're also making it easy to identify which account you're interacting through and in some places are a pointer to where you can quickly access your account settings. Today I'll first share some updates on work we have underway to fix the fundamentals of user profile photos and then I'll talk about how user profile photos are set up in different environments to understand what's going on behind the scenes. Then I'd like to share some tips on how to change your profile photo and we'll share a brief update on recent improvements that we've made in Microsoft Graph for the developers in the audience. Uh, and then I'll wrap up by giving some indications of where we're going next once we have these foundations in place. So the first key foundational piece that we're focusing on is to ensure a consistent user profile photo is used across Microsoft 365 products. And that's by consolidating cloud profile photos to one service. Um, we're now in a good deal uh, of the way there, which means that most Microsoft 365 products have already migrated to the consolidated photo service. Uh, so that includes the Office and Outlook products, Teams, uh, OneDrive, Forms, Windows and the Viva Suite, amongst others. Also, SharePoint is now in the process of migrating so the, to the cloud service, so we're getting very close to a one cloud profile photo to rule them all situation. The second foundational piece that we're working on is to ensure that updates are visible across all products within 24 hours. And this is already the case for most applications. Um, Teams applications, however, currently take up to 30 days for the changes to be visible. So there is active work underway to reduce this update time. Now, what I'd like to do is to spend a couple of minutes to give an overview of the user profile photo sources in different environments to understand what's going on under the hood. So the cloud setup has evolved over the past couple of years. Uh, we went from siloed Microsoft 365 products with user profile photos being called by different cloud services, with some examples outlined here in red that include Outlook REST API and Exchange web services that have different requirements and different handling. So when, for example, Outlook web application would update or show a user profile photo, it would be doing so via OWA. So in addition to the Exchange online services, photos could be uploaded to Entra ID or formerly known as Azure Active Directory, which would then sync on to Exchange Online. What we've done is to consolidate these to a single Microsoft 365 cloud service and data store. And we've been gradually moving all Microsoft 365 applications over to this new service, either directly or via Microsoft Graph which is what I mentioned earlier as the consistency efforts. Then uh, on premise enterprise users, photos can be uploaded to exchange on premise or active directory. And the exchange on premise photos are resized, then synced to, uh, Azure active, to active directory. Uh, for enterprise users that have an on-premise and a cloud presence and that have these uh, synced through on-premise sync, uh, the Active Directory photo will be uh, synced over to Entra ID. Uh, in this case, the photo that will be seen on the cloud would be the latest updated, so that would be either from on-prem or from the cloud. Now, one important update to or important point to mention here is that there is a one-way only sync from on-premise to cloud, which means that cloud photo updates won't propagate back to on-premise. 
Uh, and what this means is that there's a risk that the on-premise photos can become outdated. And also since on-premise photos are often updated by the IT admin, um, you might not even be aware that this photo is there. So on that note, let me take a moment to mention how these on-premise Active Directory photos can be changed or deleted. So the easiest way is to contact your IT admin, who is probably the person that gave you your account details. So check with them first. If not, you can typically reach out to the technical support team in your company or human resources department. Alternatively, you can run Active Directory commandlets yourself, but note that your computer must be connected to your on-premise server uh, for this command to be executable. Um, so in practice, the easiest option is to get in touch with your IT admin. Uh, updating photos on the cloud is easier. So you can typically go to the account manager within Microsoft 365 Experiences, which is typically on the top right-hand corner of the page as shown here on PowerPoint Online. Alternatively, if you're an enterprise user, you can update your photo on Intra ID. Or if you're an enterprise user and your company has a license for Delve, you can update your photo there. Also for developers, Microsoft Graph can be used as well. Uh, before wrapping up, I'd like to share a quick update for the developers in the audience. Uh, we're happy to announce that we now support delete on Microsoft Graph. So feel free to go ahead today and try this out for yourself on Microsoft Graph Explorer. And that's it, Kristen. Answer the following. No, there was still no. Sorry, you had a pause there. I I got confused. Sorry, please continue. <laughs> so to with summarize. The, with the, sorry, sorry. With the edit of video editing after this session, nobody will never know that I interrupted your session. So I do apologize. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> uh, to summarize the key highlights from this presentation, uh, first of all, we remained committed to ensuring a consistent and fresh photo. Uh, across experiences in Microsoft 365. And for on-premises synced and on-premise users, please reach out to your IT admin if you'd like to remove your on-premise photo. The immediate next steps will be focused on wrapping up this foundational work to bring on board the final Microsoft applications, um, also to finalize the migration with SharePoint and to complete the freshness work in Teams. And then once we have these foundations in place, we'll be working towards improving the editing experience to make it easier to update your profile photo. And then we'll start thinking towards how we can build richer profile photo experiences that enable self-expression and that create value in updating the profile photo regularly to personalize the user profile. With that, I'll close the session by inviting you to share any feedback, comments, uh, requests or questions you may have. Anywhere you give feedback within Microsoft 365 applications and channels, um, as long as you mention user profile photos, this feedback will reach us. So thank you all for your attention and we very much look forward to hearing back from you.